Throughout the history of civilization, mankind has tried to push the boundaries of man's limitation, achieving incredible feats that may seemingly be impossible to make, or even define the concept of death-defying. These instances show just how limitless humanity truly can be, and inspire many who seek the glory of achieving the unbelievable. In this video, we're taking a look at 10 times the impossible became possible. Before we jump to it, don't forget to click the like button, share, subscribe, and press the notification bell for more updates. The Deepest Man on Earth Free diving is considered to be one of the most dangerous endeavors man can undergo, defying concepts of science by swimming to extreme depths underwater without the use of any breathing apparatus. Champions of the sport can hold their breath for extraordinary amounts of time. In 2007, Austrian freediver Herbert Nisch claimed the title of Deepest Man on Earth, a record he continues to hold today by descending to 214 meters, or 702 feet, beating his own record set a year prior of 183 meters. This is an incredible feat, considering that you can be subjected to an intense amount of atmospheric pressure in such depths, altering the diver's physiology and the way gases act in the bloodstream and nervous system. Blindfolded Slackline Slacklining is a growing sport and a physical art that requires tremendous balance, much like tight roping, but using a one to two inch wide strip of synthetic fiber webbing rigged between two fixed points. While it may seem easy to do, it's actually a lot harder than it looks. This is why it takes quite a bit of training to get adept at slacklining, especially when one has plans of doing it over a high line over a canyon while being completely blindfolded. At the third Russian Highline Festival in 2019, world record athlete Freddie Kuhn became the first person in the world to balance over a one kilometer slackline with no eyesight and without falling. Taking around 55 minutes to walk over the line without any vision at all, Cooney broke the record by almost 600 meters. This feat allowed Cooney to hold three new slackline records at the same time, the free solo highline world record, the leashed regular highline world record, and the blindfolded highline world record proving that his skills are among the pristine few who can overcome the incredible physical and mental challenge of the task. Skydiving without a parachute Luke Akins has deployed a parachute around 18,000 times over the last 25 years of his skydiving and base jumping career. This level of experience allowed Akins to face the most perilous challenge of his life, to jump out of a flying plane and get to the ground without the use of a parachute. With over two years of planning and preparation, Akins jumped out from a Cessna airplane at 25,000 feet without a parachute or a wingsuit to guide his freefall towards a high-density polyethylene net awaiting him to break his fall. Using only his GPS to center himself as he falls down to the 28 by 28 foot net, Akins plummeted from mid-tropic spheric altitude and landed safely into the net at a speed of 120 miles per hour. He was able to complete the incredible stunt without any untoward incidents, proving the success of his pristine preparations. Fastest Skateboard Speed Coasting on a plank of wood with wheels may be a leisurely way of traveling, but cruising down a hill in high speed requires a completely different set of extreme skills. Skateboarding has evolved into many different disciplines, from the popular street skate where people make tricks using their board, to downhill longboarding where people race down the line at speeds of up to 60 or 80 miles per hour. But one person in particular, Peter Connolly from the UK, managed to break the 90 mile per hour conventional limit, achieving the record of the fastest skateboard speed in a standing position of 91.17 miles per hour, or 146.73 kilometers per hour. That is some incredible speed, considering he's simply standing in a tucked position on a wooden board. Longest time spent in ice. A man from Austria broke his own record to set a new world record for spending the longest time in a box of ice cubes. Joseph Koberl set the new time of 2 hours, 30 minutes, and 57 seconds for the longest duration of full body contact with ice, having his body fully submerged with ice up to his shoulders. Slicing a bullet with a samurai sword Many would think that a man with a sword would have no chance against a person firing a gun. And while the gun would be the more preferred weapon, modern samurai Isao Machi proved that with superb skill and reflexes, no bullet was a match for his sword after he split a BB pellet in half. The master swordsman, who holds numerous records for his swordplay, stared down the barrel of an airsoft rifle and drew his sword from its scabbard as the gun fired. 
Using pure instinct, Esau sliced the bullet, traveling at 158 kilometers per hour, proving that his skilled precision and extreme focus in swordplay is a league on his own. Biggest lungs ever. Holding one's breath underwater can be quite challenging in and of itself. So imagine Spanish multiple world champion free diver Alex Segura, who holds the official Guinness World Record for holding his breath for 24 minutes and 3.45 seconds. The static apnea with previous pure oxygen breaths of stunt was done in a live event broadcast on TV, becoming the longest official breath hold ever. Landing a 1080 Legendary skateboarder Tony Hawk was the first person to land a 900 degree aerial spin in 1999 feat that no one ever thought would be possible. In 2020, an 11-year-old skateboarder from Brazil named Gui Curie broke the long-standing record to land the very first 1080 in the history of skateboarding. Curie completed the three full rotations on a standard vertical ramp built in his grandmother's back garden. The 900 aerial spin was already considered one of the most technically demanding tricks in the history of skateboarding. So imagine the level of difficulty in achieving the three full turn completion by such a young skateboarder. Biggest wave surfed. Mankind has always managed to challenge the limits in nature. It is actually in our nature. And we've even concocted sporting activities that coexist within nature's provided playgrounds. Surfing is one of these ancient activities with people riding powerful waves using a board or even their bodies. Modern surfing has also transformed throughout the years, allowing surfers to push the boundaries of the sport. 2020 Brazilian surfer Maya Gabera rode a record-breaking wave after successfully surfing a 22.4 meter wave or 73.5 feet high at a big wave event in Nazar, Portugal. This was also the biggest wave measured for the year surfed by either a man or a woman. Surfing these huge waves is a frightening feat considering that one giant wave can unload up to 150 tons of water on anyone caught within it. That is pretty much akin to being crushed by a full-grown blue whale. Nonetheless, Maya braved the potentially fatal waves and earned herself a record in the Guinness World Records. This brave woman did take a harsh spill though. The impact ripped Maya's life jacket off her body, pushed her underwater, and immediately broke one of her legs as well as knocked her unconscious. Luckily for her, she was rescued by her fellow surfer Carlos Burl, who was accompanying her as Burl was responsible for driving the jet ski that towed Maya onto the wave. When asked about her experience, she told BBC News that even she thought she was going to die. Free Solo Rock climbing is a seriously extreme sport, entailing much preparation and loads of safety equipment involved. While climbing rock faces can be dangerous in itself, some choose to add to the level of technical difficulty and flair by climbing dangerous walls without the use of ropes or protective equipment. The manner of climbing is called free soloing and it is the most dangerous form of climbing with many known climbers falling to their deaths in this most elite practice. Alex Honnold found massive popularity for being the first person to free solo El Capitan, a 3,000 foot rope free climb of Yosemite National Park. Ascending the peak in 3 hours and 56 minutes using only his sticky climbing shoes and a fastened chalk bag, Honnold managed to safely climb the world's most famous rock wall is featured in the stunning award-winning film, Free Solo. Honnold's ability to control fear and hone his physicality to achieve the feat is truly remarkable, especially since we can just witness the feat without comprehending the height and difficulty of the actual climb. You can see these depth-defying climbs by checking out the award-winning documentary filmmaker E. Chai Vassarelli and world-renowned photographer and mountaineer Jimmy Chin as they join forces with National Geographic to create a stunning documentary with the free soloist climber Alex Honnold. What do you think about these 10 times the impossible became possible? We'd love to hear what you think about them by commenting down below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and ring that notification bell for more stories.